so most of the animes here that are available have released more than 10 years ago so that is why this is known i'm calling it vintage edition let's actually start with an s tier anime and that is code geass i think everyone can actually agree if you have watched code geass that it is an amazing amazing anime probably it has the best ending of all anime actually and um, you know the characters the world building the plot everything is so great and it is kind of insane that this anime was released in 90s where every single you know anime studio was only focusing on isekai or uh, anime is just focused for children right and in that era that it was released and it is kind of insane and even right now we are seeing some really bad animes some mediocre animes and you know anime adaptations that are really not even that don't even mean to exist in my opinion so code geass actually released in a really different era and even still right now it holds up really really well and that is why it is an s tier anime it is a great great anime and, and i don't enjoy watching this anime because it is so realistic you know but i just cannot you know disagree that this is an s tier anime next one is death note another s tier anime i'm going to keep it higher than code geass maybe because i rewatched death note three times actually uh maybe i will have if i watch code geass i might actually keep it higher than death note but as of right now you know death note is a bit higher than code geass and i have to thank death note for like existing because it is the anime that introduced me to this anime world i was literally new to the anime and i was just searching for new animes to watch so i just typed in best anime to watch uh and every single where every single website every single youtube video was recommending me not me but the beginners to watch death note as their first anime and i was like why are they even recommending me this because the title sounds so grim right like death note it means something related to death and i thought it is not going to have good ending uh, or it is going to be a bad anime so i just went with a really bad impression but my god after watching first episode i was hooked like in two days i watched the entire series and i was actually in my village so at that time the internet was really bad but even still there was an a uh, tower actually so i used to go there download the entire series and i came back i actually watched the entire series in the entire night um like it's just so crazy but i was so obsessed with this anime till now i was just thinking animes are only isekais or uh, only for children like doremon kitretsu ninja hatori uh these animes used to air in nickelodeon and cartoon network and i just watched only very few animes so i thought well, animes are only for children but after watching death note i was blown away how great how great this anime was and it is kind of again another insane anime that have not replaced its own position i don't think i can ever recommend another you know really mysterious serious crime type of thing who have really intelligent people like death note i like i cannot even remember are there any other intelligent people of course there is uh, one from files of enkindaichi but he is not i don't think files of enkindaichi is a very well known anime so yeah like death note is by far one of the best animes and i think it deserves to be an s tier it deserves the position that it is holding right now every single i'm still seeing a lot of people a lot of beginner uh, anime you know people or anime fans i would say that are still watching death note and are just blown away i agree that the second season is not that interesting when well, compared to season 1 but season 1 was just so great that is kind of unfortunate right Uh, but still i don't think death note is any bad at all yeah i agree some people are saying the ending is a bit bad but still i just love death note man it is amazing amazing anime next one is ergo proxy it is an easy a tier for me it was actually recommended by pewdiepie in one of his video uh, and uh, you know i didn't even know about this anime but um, after watching it i think it is a great great anime but it is so slow it requires a lot of patience uh, and that is i think you know some people are going to dislike it for that reason uh and uh, yeah, that is the only downside i would say of course there are some filler episodes for unnecessary reason but still the concept the you know, the world building that like, it is amazing amazing anime and they have really really great soundtracks ergo proxy has a great story everything is great about ergo proxy but it is really slow paced so you just have to have a lot of patience actually so next one is bakuman i'm going to keep bakuman in like a really important tier uh, i don't think it is great as death note or as code geass but it is a really important anime for me just like death note 
because um bakuman actually helped me understand you know my passion i would say i think i have already told you so many different times in many videos that i want to be a story writer in the future and that was because i watched bakuman if you are going to watch bakuman you are going to learn learn a lot about you know manga creation manga ka artists and anime creation and how these publishers or anime studios even work and it is so great you know if you are going to watch it you are going to appreciate a lot more about you know the authors of these mangas and how these guys don't even have enough time to actually sleep or do anything so you are going to learn a lot when you are going to watch bakuman and it is an amazing series everyone is going to appreciate it and it is still again it was released in 90s and it sto- holds up really well in my opinion and i really really love bakuman next one is another another is an s tier anime but it had by far one of the worst endings and it is a c tier anime if you are an anime you know if you want to watch a horror related anime i think an- another is a great option you can actually watch it but the ending is so bad spoiler alert so i l- really love some of the characters you know side characters and they they had some really good character development and all that but at the end what happens everyone just dies for fucking unnecessary reason of course not the main characters they have to live but every single person dies dude like what even happened like the entire anime till now was so great the world building the horror the jump scares even the opening i was hooked with the opening actually that is why i actually watched another but yeah the ending is a bit bad but if you can actually forget about that or have some open mind i think you are going to love this anime the atmosphere is so great i think even right now we have not seen any other horror related animes that are really this good you know what i'm just going to keep it in b tier i know the ending is really bad but i cannot like this is a great anime actually next one is idat and jump another mid b tier anime i would say if you are going to watch it you are going to laugh because it is so cringe but it it has a really good premise so basic uh, premise of the story is that you know uh, a lot of different people have uh, mtbs these special mtbs that can actually do some crazy stuff they are all sent to a different world so they have to fight with each other to go back to their origi- original world and uh, this is a cool anime you know the on paper it sounds really cool but this is designed only for children so you are going to like there are so many filler episodes the concept is really really good like the main characters mtb is called as a uh, uh, flame kaiser everyone have their own special mtbs that can do special abilities you can say and it is just amazing it the concept is really cool but the anime again i have told you is only for children so you cannot watch it i rewatched it it is so cringe and again it has so like this cliche thing of any anime if the main character is doing something irradical side characters are exp- are going to explain this like this is he is doing that because he is going to win this and like it is so crazy and on top of that if he is going to do something bad or something you know ev- is going to show everyone's reaction so yeah it is only for children so that is why it is a mid b tier i would say next is um boku no piko yeah an easy s tier i think it is much better than bakuman <laughs> i'm just kidding it is a shit tier i think you know what i'm just going to keep it here why did i even watch it oh yeah my friend recommended me this one i hate that guy and i hate myself watching this um series fuck okay next is attack on titan i don't know which one to keep higher death note or attack on titan you know what i'm going to keep attack on titan a bit higher um attack on titan is just amazing and i mean that is why i'm keeping it higher but i have a lot to say about it i i already made a review about attack on titan but i did not talk every single thing every single time whenever i think about attack on titan i just appreciate how great of an art this anime is i know some people are saying it is so political right now it is not that great till season 2 it was great you know it was just about people and titans and that story was just good enough but i think that that had no scope and i think them going with political stuff and all that becoming a bit more real world i think that is the biggest advantage of attack on titan i think it is so unique i think if i'm going to keep other shonen animes like um, jujutsu kaisen or demon slayer i'm not saying they are bad at all what i'm saying is you can find some similarities right but in attack on titan you cannot find it attack on titan again have its own uniqueness and that is why i really love attack on titan the every single character has some power you know power in the sense some character development i love every single character in this one and yeah i just i cannot if i'm going to talk about attack on titan it is going to take literal days so i'm not going to talk about it but yeah it is an amazing amazing anime next one is brin hilda in the darkness i think this is a really underrated anime and everyone should actually watch it 
I know I'm actually keeping you know what I'm not keeping it as high you know what it is a really high A tier anime I would say it is my favorite anime I'm saying it it is so great it just blows my mind how great this anime is but unfortunately again it released in 90s and it does have that uh, what do you say flaws I would say some really unnecessary scenes I would say but again this is an amazing anime I just love the concept you know I'm I don't know how to even talk about this concept so just go ahead and watch the anime and on top of that every like ending and opening soundtrack of Brindhilda in the Darkness is just amazing it is by far one of the best i would say you know best of the best i just listen to this every single day and it is just amazing so next is kotoro san another a tier anime and it actually was a bit surprising i did not hear a lot about this anime and it is kind of surprising it has really low rating in imdb for an i don't know why it's a beautiful show uh it starts out really dark but uh, you know it starts becoming a bit more comedic and romantic every single character is lovable especially especially the female main character and the male main character they are really lovable and their chemistry is so great i just love katora san next is all no zero another eight year anime i kind of hate the ending but again i don't like whatever it does not take away from the fact that this is a great great anime the animation is just amazing the world building is actually really unique um it is so cool it's just amazing uh and you know it is a mecha anime and this was my first mecha anime i watched it after death note and i was just searching for mecha related animes and i came across gundam i wanted to watch gundam but it has so many different timelines and animes i didn't even know what anime to watch so i just watched all no zero which is really great actually uh, i just love the anime and the season 1 cliffhanger is so great you are going to love watching this anime i'm just telling you right now just go ahead and watch it if you haven't I don't again these all animes these three animes are really underrated in my opinion I have not heard any people talking about this so yeah all no zero again another eight year anime yu yu hakusho uh, again eight year i would say it was released in 90s and it does have those flaws of you know filler episodes and all that the animation i can look past that the story is good enough the dark tournament arc is just amazing but the ending is again a bit bad uh, so it is a bit mixed bag but overall i would say it is an eight year anime great anime but i'm kind of scared with the live adaptation that netflix is making hopefully they're not going to mess it up i mean they are going to i think but i don't know okay uh, next is ranma half another eight year uh, i don't know like i just watched a few times not few times i watched it but i didn't felt it had any story to tell i i, I just thought these are all filler episodes um no story and anything again it is comedy it's good you know if you are going to watch it you are going to enjoy it but you are not going to get any type of story or anything so yeah files of ink in daichi um i don't know where to even keep it you know what i'm going to keep it a bit above ergo proxy and it is kind of insane like i have not heard anyone talking about this anime and it is a great anime it is a crime related anime kind of similar to death note but here it does not have any concurrent storyline i would say it revolves around multiple different crime stories right like the main character hajime kindaichi you know he want to be a detective so he actually goes around places or wherever he goes crime actually happens so he actually solves the crimes so that is the basic premise like it is so cool you know there are so many unique ways to kill people of course i'm not telling you to watch this anime to create like to kill people but it is a great like it is really cool to see okay this this is how they killed him and this is how they actually covered the evidence and all that it is it is a great anime but it again released in 90s so there are some really unnecessary scenes i would say but still a great great anime next is uh, dusk maiden of amnesia another eight year anime i loved this anime again i have to say it is similar to ergo proxy a bit slow paced but it actually pays off at the end it is amazing amazing anime yeah i don't have a lot to say just watch it again another underrated anime next is kai chowa made sama another eight year anime okay so every single anime is eight year or what okay so kai chowa made sama had a really interesting premise i think you know right now we are seeing some high school romance animes and all that but this one is by far the realistic i would say and their romance you know like it's so great the, their chemistry is so great the characters are really lovable and uh, they are really interesting characters and i just love watching this anime and thankfully it does not have i mean it does have filler episodes but they are so you know lovely uh, you're not go- even going to think about them like i love this anime next is aden of the east it is a high a tier i don't know where to even keep it you know what i'm going to keep it in between all no zero and kotora san and it is a great anime aden of the east has a really interesting premise a really unique premise i would say uh, and it actually pays off the ending i really enjoyed it and watching the anime it was really good so yeah i don't have a lot of complaints 
so nah uh, next one is um, tokyo ravens an s tier anime i would say and it is kind of insane that it is higher than code geass and the reason is whenever i think about magic or magical school i always think about um, tokyo ravens because it has some of the best magical school elements it actually combines magic with modern world technology and it is so great i just love this anime the story is great the world building is awesome there are not a lot of things to complain about in this anime and i just love this anime so definitely watch it i think this is by far the most underrated anime in this s tier list so yeah a great great anime pokemon okay b tier anime i would say if you are a child you are going to attack me <laughs> but if you are a working person or in your above if you are above 18 you can actually understand this because it like it does not have a great story man it has so many filler episodes the universe is great and that is why so many pokemon games are really popular they can make great storyline if they want to but they are already making so much amount of money from you know multiple different things that i don't think they are concentrating on anime i don't know if i'm i might be wrong but um, yeah the pokemon the original show does not have a good story i think there are some great arcs but uh, they are just hidden in so many filler episodes that it is kind of insane to even watch the anime so yeah pokemon is a beauty anime and yeah berserk oh my god okay again it was recommended by pewdiepie in one of his videos where he recommended ergo proxy and i watched berserk i just love love this anime where do i even keep it i want to keep it in s tier but where above of course it is above code geass above tokyo ravens death note you know what it is above death note i would say and the reason is the world building i just cannot like it it released in 90s and it has by far one of the best you know fantasy related animes and this genre is my favorite you know dark fantasy is something that i love and the first episode itself is so cool like as soon as i watch first episode i just i was like okay this is my anime i just want to watch it but do you know what is the biggest shit about this show because they did not even continue this shit it is so inf- infuriating actually you know they actually stopped at the most important point and they did not make another season fucking hell man i just hate that part but unfortunately you know the manga is also not completed because the author passed away rest in peace but yeah it is so unfortunate but i just love berserk it is so great berserk has by far one of the most coolest openings i would say it has really weird lyrics but the you know song tune everything actually combines up really cool actually yeah, for some reason but i just love the opening song uh i think i wanted to watch um, helsing as well with berserk but i forgot about this anime so i'm not keeping it in here so again there are other animes that i have maybe missed you might be thinking like uh, dragon ball z or naruto or other things but uh, i did not watch it i did not watch any other animes like cowboy bebop so these are the only animes retro animes that i watched so yeah this is my tier list and yeah about uh, soundtrack i'm going to leave every single link in the description so just go ahead and watch them uh, attack on titan have an amazing amazing soundtracks berserk have an amazing soundtrack i'm just going to search and if i'm going to find really interesting soundtracks or playlist or anything i'm just going to keep it and i'm a type of person who listens to music who does not have a lot of lyrics so mostly i'm just going to listen to instrumental music because as i've already told you i want to be a story writer and for me music is a way of creation like creating stories so i create stories as i listen to music so i don't want lyrics to disturb me so i just listen to only instrumental songs so i'm sorry if you don't like instrumental but most of the songs that i'm going to recommend are going to be instrumentals So yeah I hope you enjoyed the video if you did then please consider liking it it is going to give me some encouragement to actually make other videos it has been a really long time since I made another video so yeah I hope you enjoyed it take care of your health I just ate a snack you know that smelled a bit funny but I still ate it and I had a really bad sore throat like for a week and I just hated that, that like oh my god so take care of your health don't eat bullshit things and yeah I hope to see you in my next video take care of your health and have a nice day